Okay, so let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing a freaking dragon. <sighs> that was close. Where the hell are we now? The big city, I suppose? Hello? Anyone home? Say something if you can hear me. Not a sound. Well, let's keep looking. You should probably keep an eye out for somewhere to rest, too. Let's see what's over there. Is there not a single person left? It very much seemed that way. Perhaps this ominous would be here and drove you to escape the super -core. That'll do it. Hope so. At least that would mean they're still alive. Well, this place is fun. I imagine it was once. Happy, smiling faces on every corner. No, I can picture it now. Damn. Everything just looks... broken. Not exactly the most poetic of descriptions, but yes, I suppose it does. Is there nowhere that's not, like, broken by this shit? I suppose there might be somewhere. Use a rest. Sounds like trouble. Yes, and given what we've seen so far, I'd say you need to be very careful in case you're planning on investigating. Shit! What is it now? Is this the break shit's doing too? I believe so. It corrupts everything it touches before destroying it completely. Now hurry up and get out of here while you still can. Oh, did you 
see that? So gratifying to see my hard work paying dividends. You're mine! Do you think it's dead? The dragon? Well, it did get crushed by all that rubble. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah! Make this fucker let go! But you'll die if you fall from up here! I'm gonna die anyway, asshole! Are you all right? Uh, I think so. Looks like there's a town up there. Hopefully one that isn't deserted. Well, you'll never find out if you don't go and see. Oh, whoa, hey! Hey! Over here! Oh, we're saved. Huh? The hell? Move, monster! Hey, the fuck you calling monster? The monster speaks! Yeah, of course I speak! And put your pointy stick away, asshole! Move! Alright! Move it! Where are we now? This is the city of Sipor. Why are they speaking English? It's my experience that languages share commonalities across many dimensions. Okay. Any answer works for me, I guess. Quiet! Keep moving, fiend! Ugh, of course. Back in court. Let. Me. Go! Easy. Settle. Are you, child? Who are you? I would humble thyself and answer their questions. I got this. I'm used to repping thyself. I don't think you comprehend the gravity of your situation. I gotten myself out of much tougher scrapes than this, thank you very much. So why don't you shut your shiny mouth and let me do the talking? Good her. She speaks with invisible beings. Is she in cahoots with demons? What? No. And, and who uses cahoots? I would like to hear the answer to Councilwoman Bellet's question, child. My name is Frey Holland. I do not know how I got here. I am exhausted. I am starving, and all I want is to go home. Her vestments are strange. Where is she from? Hell's Kitchen. You see? She is Hell's Spawn. How else could she survive in the corruption? Please. How did you emerge from the corruption of Janu unscathed? I wouldn't exactly say unscathed. It's because she and the corruption are one and the same. We must execute her immediately. Wait, what? No, that's crazy. I don't even know how I got here. Please, listen to me. I believe we need her. Who wishes to address the council? Forgive me. I am Odin Keen. All this woman is guilty of is surviving the corrupted lands. We have much to learn from her. Until now, we've only met her with blades. Perhaps we could extend her a hand of kindness. The devil will accept your kindness, as it bites your hand, spreading its venomous corruption into your veins. We must deal with this interloper swiftly. Councilwoman Ballette, please! Both Odin King and Councilman Janesh have made very compelling arguments. The council is divided. Therefore, there shall be no blood spilled today. But, heed my warning, child. If you prove a threat, we will have no choice but to eliminate you. Take her to the Tower of Binoy. Please, Councilwoman Ballet, your ruling is too harsh. Council is adjourned. She has done nothing wrong. Wait, what, uh, Tower of Benoit? What's the Tower of Benoit? I believe it's a prison. Please! What? Oh, hell no! I'm not getting locked up again! Let me go! Let me go! Don't touch me, asshole! Oh.
Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up! Get up! Get up! Look. I am imprisoned a million miles from home in a Ren Faire nightmare. Just let me die in peace. If you die, I'm just a meaningless bauble that they bury you with. And I am fine with that. Just leave me alone. You know what? None of this is my fault. This is all your and, fucking and tell fault. Me how exactly this is my fault? Can we just not talk? Fine. Fine by me. Suit yourself. I'd love a bit of silence. Fantastic. <sighs> you say another fucking word. You know, I never thought I'd miss the Hell's Kitchen. <clears throat> Shit, of course it's locked. I doubt you'll be squeezing your way to freedom through there. No shit. Damn it, this is going nowhere. Did that piss bucket do something to annoy you? No. You know what? You did. Because of you, I'm not getting back to- New York? New York. How hard is that to remember? Mm, maybe it's hard to remember as Vambrace? If memory serves me right, you weren't exactly in the best of spirits when our paths first crossed. I'm not sure why you're so determined to return. You know what? I'm just gonna use magic to bust us out of here. It isn't advisable to use your abilities in front of them. Why not? They already think I'm in cahoots with demons! But they will hang you for being a heretic. What, like a Salem situation? Do you expect me to know what that means? Look, we, we did it your way, and now we're gonna try it my way. <laughs> did I just do that? Quick, put this on. Who's there? I will free you, but you have to put it on and do as I say. Okay, it's on. You. You're the one who stood up for me in court. Why are you doing this? Because I believe you. But we must hurry. How did you sneak past the guards? I prepared a tincture of slumber baked into a pastry. Hmm. Looks can really be deceiving. Let's go before they wake. Wait. Where are we going? What's your angle? Angle. She did defend you in court, and right now, she seems to be your only option. Fair point. All right, wherever we're going, there's gotta be food. Well, this is serendipitous. You're telling me. Did you say something? What? Uh, uh no. <laughs> Please, after you. You sure this is a good idea? I mean, aren't you gonna get yourself in trouble? Don't worry about me. Besides, I couldn't just stand idly by while they treated you so unfairly. Who are those people running the trial? You mean the Council of Sepul? 
They're the leaders of our city. They settle all our disputes. Judge and jury all rolled into one, huh? Efficient. As you can see, our land suffers. Everything that corruption touches... It breaks. Yeah. I saw it up close. It's real fucked up in there. Uh, not pleasant. Indeed. Athia's all but lost. Where did the break shit come from? I'll tell you soon enough. We must keep moving. So where are we going exactly? We should make our way to the lower city. The lower city. Got it. What were you even doing at the courtroom? No one has arrived from outside the city for many years. Everyone in town wants to know who you are. The price and notoriety, I guess. After what you called the break shit. Uh, let's just go with the break. After the break occurred, people fled their villages. Sir Paul is the last bastion. Damn. I would advise staying off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You know, we should stay off the main thoroughfares. Less chance of being spotted. You're right. Wow, nice digs. Some schmancy houses. This is where the nobility live. Ah, yes, the Upper East Side. Technically, we're in the north of the city. She can't have got far! It appears they've noticed that you're missing. Head for the shadows and keep moving. Stick to the shadows. Great idea. Why can't you be more like her? She likes all my ideas.
you are safe now. Uh, thanks. We are close to where I live. Come, I have food. Bit of a half-hearted thank you, I must say. Nobody does anything nice without wanting something in return. I have trust issues. Hmm. Do you trust me? <sighs> what you and I have is an unholy alliance at best. I couldn't get rid of you even if I wanted to. She did just risk her own life to get you out of jail. Point taken. Plus, she promised me food. And don't you want to know what she wants? It's quite the mystery. More interested in the food at the moment. We can speak freely here. I am Odin Keen, daughter of Robian and Callista Keen. Well, uh, I'm Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. I don't know how to respond. It's okay. Boring story. I'm over it. Liar. My father was a notable cognizant. Cognizant? Cognizant. You say tomato, I say tomato. Tomato, tomato. You are very strange, Frey. Cognizants are Athia's most highly respected scholars. And my mother was a general. Oof, that is a lot to live up to. Wait, was? I've been on my own almost my whole life. I know what that's like. I don't have any parents. I had some foster ones, but they never really stuck. So you must feel the same way? That we got royally screwed? That we must help others. Tomato, tomato. This is my home. You live in a bar? Uh, above. I like you more and more. So about that food? You had this on you the whole time. I needed you to follow me, Frey Holland, daughter of who the F knows. Hmm. Just Frey's fine and uh, well played. Well, thanks for the jailbreak lady and the apple, but uh, this is where we part ways. Please wait. I need your help to save my homeland. Uh, mystery solved. That's not happening. The circle of bending light, the rushing sound. That's what brought you here, yes? You want to go back home, don't you? I may be able to help you. I'll give you to the bottom of a drink. Nice. Looks like one of those medieval themed bars. Sorry, I didn't see you. Give it back. Come on. Second rule of pickpocketing, never give back what you stole. It's the first rule. Don't get caught. What is it anyway? Something ain't worth crap here. Well, if it isn't worth anything, why can't I have it? Nice try, munchkin. Now scram! Find of your finest ale, my good sir. Oh, hell of a kick. You guys do not mess around. All right, let's hear it. This isn't gonna last long. My father researched the phenomenon known as the Tirana extensively. Tirana? The tunnel of light you traveled through. I believe his work holds the answers you need. I could give you his findings, and... Here it comes. In return, I want you to find his research notes on the break. They are... In the break, right? It does not seem to have any effect on you. So they say. Many have tried to find what's outside the city, but they don't get far before... Before what? 
You are the only hope we have. You're special. <laughs> okay, you obviously don't know me. <sighs> I want proof. Uh, follow me and I'll show you. And thank you. I, I haven't said yes. Do you believe her? I suppose anything is possible. Some chance is better than no chance. I do not want to go back into that hellscape. Come on, we'll be fine. I'll be with you after all. Not comforted. Is this then your folks? Yes. It was painted when we were at one of the Cognizant's guilds. Father was one of the Cognizant's of Janoon. He had the foresight to move his work to Praenos just before the guild and Janoon fell to the break. So your dad's notes are in Praenos? Yes. He brought me here to keep me safe from the break. But it wasn't long before he went back to finish his work. That was 20 years ago. I never saw him again. And the break eventually overtook everything outside the city. Could you tell me about him? He was a brilliant man, beloved by many. He was close to finding a way of slowing down the break, maybe even reversing it. People put their faith in him, believed that he would make the world how it used to be. I'm trying my hardest to continue his work, to keep hope alive. Here, these are his notes on the Tirana. Yeah, yeah, this looks familiar. You can have this after you help me. Quid pro quo. I get it. He kept his notes on the break and read journals like this one. I need you to find them and bring them back. Okay, so I go and get the journals, bring them back, and then we're square. That's the full extent of my savioring. I will do everything in my power to help you get home. You have my word. Cross your heart and hope to die? You wish me dead? No, no, it's a, a phrase we have on our... <laughs> Forget it. I shall pretend those words were never uttered. Good. Okay, I'm in. Why not? It's not like I've got any better options. Oh, this is good news. You're truly helping the people of Athia. Uh, not why I'm doing it, but yeah, sure. If you're planning on heading into the break, you'll need to get some rest. I'll go in the morning. You got anywhere I can crash? Crash? A crash. A, a sleep. Oh, of course. Follow me. You can use this room whenever you like, and I'll prepare a change of clothes for you. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. What a fucking day. Still can't tell if any of this is real. And yet it is. Now rest. You have another big day tomorrow.
Now you look like one of us. But your shoes betray you. These have gotten me out of a lot of scrapes. Where I go, they go. The kick stay. So it shall be. Here, you also need this. It's a map of Athia. It should aid you on your journey. Here, I've marked the Cognizance Guild. Perfect. 